Saturday, April 9th, 2022, 7.30 p.m. A convoy of over 20 low loaders sets off at the Vigital freeway junction. The tour heads to the Lutterbach interchange. The highway towards Bern is closed here. People unload, organize, install, and some watch the activities along a stretch of 400 meters. The Astra Bridge is being built. Um, sorry, what's being built? Astra Bridge, a mobile construction bridge on the highway, a working area of 100 meters. Under the bridge, the road is being reconstructed. Meanwhile, traffic passes over the bridge. Lanes do not have to be removed. This prevents congestion. But how do you install such a feat in two nights on the highway? With heavy haulers and cranes, of course. But cranes can't be everywhere, and working with cranes takes time. This is why a lot of elements unload automatically. The four upper ramp elements, each weighing 57 tons, are the biggest fish. They travel on six heavy-duty chassis. Now comes the hard part. The parts weighing tons must be maneuvered precisely against each other. Done. Now it gets even more difficult, because the right and left ramp sections are assembled into a massive vehicle. The animation makes it look easy, but it's not. And time is running out. The bridge must be drivable on Sunday morning in about 10 hours. That's why, of course, we're building from both ends. We're not stupid after all. Well, let's hope it works. After all, the ramps are ready for use after three hours, just as planned. Now the intermediate parts. First the theory. A center segment hooks on with two pins at the front and back. The edge segments are then set. The three-part intermediate elements are easy to deliver, as the crane is on the bridge. Clever thinking, Mr. Howard. Well, let's see if it works in real life. Hmm, looks like they know what they're doing. With a total of 57 segments, that's also important. Once the center segment is inserted, a gantry moves over the pin from the other side. Then, set the edge segments. Straighten a little here and there. Screw them together. Connect the ramps and gantries with power and data lines. And all in 30 minutes for each intermediate segment gantry unit. The bridge grows by about 20 meters per hour on each side. And let's take a closer look at the gantries, the bridge's core pieces and support elements. 18 pieces, 35 tons each. They're mobile and rest on solid footplates when the bridge is in use. And they can do a lot more because they have to be slimmed down to the allowed width of 3 meters 50 for transport. There's 30 minutes for unloading and preparing. We don't have that much time, so once again, we turn to theory. Raise it using lifting cylinders. Drive away. Set it down on the chassis, wheels in driving position. Lower the very heavy footplates, swivel them and fix them in place. Close the impact protection. Turn and start the installation. And it obviously works as planned here too. Well, maybe not yet with one person per gantry as promised, but the gantries are ready as promised in 30 minutes. Then drive to the installation site and the next pin is already inserted. But what are the pins actually used for? So once again, we turn to theory. The pins are pivoted and fixed by a wedge to prevent the elements from slipping apart. The control hydraulics are on the left and right. They press the intermediate element. That's how the bridge is controlled. Turning circle, two kilometers. Once the bridge is fixed, the wedge is slightly loosened, allowing the elements to expand and contract with changes in temperature. But that's enough theory for now. By now we know that it works. Let's start building, finally. And now a few more facts in a flash. 15 years working in steel construction. 12 years working with equipment at Marty Technic. 96 lifting cylinders, each three quarters of a ton. Then some of the 96 wheels mentioned by Mr. Howard, with a control unit and a motor unit above each, and a great deal of hydraulics. The first elements are then ready for use. Now it's time to get to know stuff and go to driving school. Hmm, let's push right. Oops, but there would not be room for this maneuver on the highway later on. So it's practice, practice, 
practice and practice again until you can do it. And practice pays off in the end. The highway construction is almost as fast as in the computer animation. And that's good, because the bridge is ready just in time for Sunday traffic at 10 a.m. Then the extension to the full 236 meters on Sunday night. Eight hours, deadline is at 5 a.m. Chief fitter Ronnie Mervis then pulled two all-nighters, but it was worth it. Things are looking very good for us. We're nearly finished. So far, it's been a fantastic run. The bridges then moved to the site. Mr. Howard's 22 individual vehicles and 96 wheels actually work flawlessly together and drive with GPS accuracy right down to the last centimeter. And what did the designer and overall project manager say after two full nights of assembly? How was it? Very good, actually. We're finished before the deadline. Well then, there's only one question left. You're rather proud, all of you at Marty Technic, aren't you? Yes, proud and relieved indeed. The bridge is then opened. And now we'll just look at it for a little while longer.